I have been going over the five stages of our spiritual identity, and today we come to the third one. As a review, the first stage is slave to sin, and the second is slave to righteousness. The disciples modeled what it means to be a righteous slave to Jesus. They often addressed Jesus as master. They had left everything to serve and follow Jesus wherever he went. After almost three years together, Jesus delivers a stunning message to his ragtag group of followers. He says in John 15, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remained in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. The disciples in that moment were given a divine promotion. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords was no longer going to call them servants, but invited them to be friends. This was an amazing shift, not only in how the disciples viewed themselves, but how they related to the Lord. Earthly servants work to please their master, often with a component of fear. They work for favor and reward, or the avoidance of punishment. Friends don't work to please each other. They simply find joy in each other's presence and are willing to serve out of love, not fear. Jesus even described the love of a friend as willing to sacrifice one's life for another. The third stage of our identity moves us past the position of servant to that of friend. We still serve the Lord in all we do, but our mentality has shifted. You can be a servant to someone without being a friend, but you can't be a true friend without being willing to serve. A servant can even love and honor his master, but it is very different than the love of a friend. Jesus is the ultimate friend because he lays down his life for his sheep. What does your relationship with God look like? Would it be characterized as a servant to a master or is it a friendship? It is possible to talk to the Lord like Moses, face to face as one speaks to a friend. Bless you to mature beyond the servant stage of spiritual identity and become a true friend of God.